The Minolta XD7, also known as the XD11 in the USA, was introduced in 1977 and was the first SLR to feature both aperture priority and shutter priority automatic exposure modes. It's a solid camera and was the last metal bodied camera produced by Minolta. This is the film wind on and the shutter release is in the middle of the shutter speed dial. You can see the shutter speed dial gives you speeds from a thousandth all the way down to a second. There's an X sync for flash which is a hundredth of a second. There's B and there's a mechanical shutter speed of a hundredth of a second if the batteries run out. The shutter dial can be moved with one finger unlike a lot of other cameras that were made at the time. This switch here sets the exposure mode. M is for manual. You set both the aperture and the shutter speed. In the viewfinder, the suggested shutter speed is shown on the right and you adjust the shutter speed shown at the bottom until they match. A is for aperture priority. The set aperture you set is shown at the bottom of the viewfinder and the shutter speed chosen by the camera is shown at the right of the viewfinder. S is shutter priority and you have to set the smallest aperture on the MD mount lens. The shutter speed you've set is shown at the bottom of the viewfinder and the aperture set by the camera is shown at the right. The hot shoe takes a dedicated flash but any independent hot shoe mount flash should do. This button here allows you to change the film speed and this knob here allows you to set exposure compensation. This crank pulls up and allows you to rewind the film back into the cassette once you've finished it. Front left of the camera here, you can see the depth of field preview, which allows you to close down the aperture to the set aperture so you can see the depth of field. This is a flash sync socket so you can plug in uh, a flash lead. And this is for removing the lens. It's the Minolta MD mount, which had a very wide range of professional lenses available. And because it was discontinued when Minolta moved to autofocus, those lenses are quite reasonably priced. On the front right is the self timer. On the bottom of the camera, here's the battery cover. This is the tripod socket. You press this button in when you finish the film in order to be able to rewind it back into the cassette. And this is the connection for the auto winder. When you attach the auto winder, it would wind the film on at two frames per second. Loading film into Minolta cameras is quite simple. You pull up the rewind crank, that opens the camera back. Put the cassette of film in, push that back down and then pull the film reader across and tuck it in to one of these slots here. Once you've got it in the slot, wind on a frame of the film and close the camera back. Then wind on two more frames and you're ready to take the picture. This is a very easy to use camera and the viewfinder shows all the exposure information so you don't need to take the camera from your eye. It's stylishly designed and was probably the best looking manual focus Minolta. There are similar price to the X700. In my view, this is a much better camera.